Hi everyone. I would like to welcome all of you to today's class. In this class, we are learning about the very important concept that is electric field lines. That is also called the electric lines of force. This is electric charge and electric field part five. Okay. Let us discuss about first the meaning of electric field line or that is also called the electric line of force. Electric field line or electric line of force. Electric field line. It is also called the electric line of force. So first here let us consider an isolated positive point charge. This is isolated positive point charge. Actually electric field line means that is an imaginary line along which a unit positive test charge would move in the field. Electric field line means that is an imaginary line. Imaginary line along which a unit positive test charge would move in the field. That is the meaning of electric field line. Okay. So what type of electric field lines produces around the isolated positive point charge? Okay, so this is the isolated positive point charge and these are the imaginary lines around the isolated positive point charge. What is this? Isolated positive point charge. These are the imaginary lines. Suppose a unit positive test charge uh, plus Q0 that is placed in this line due to plus Q what happens the plus Q0 the unit positive test charge would experiences the repulsive force that is directed away from plus Q so this is the direction of electric field so in the same manner uh, even a test charge is placed in this line that will experience the repulsive force. So finally, here we will get radially diverging, radially diverging electric field lines, radially, radially diverging electric field lines around the isolated positive point charge. Radially diverging electric field lines around isolated positive point charge actually this is the first very important characteristic of electric field line electric field line is an imaginary line along which a unit positive test charge would move in the field the first characteristic is what is that electric field lines directed away electric field lines are directed away away from isolated positive point charge a radially diverging electric field line radially diverging electric field lines produces around isolated positive point charge suppose let us consider isolated negative point charge what is this isolated negative point charge now these are the imaginary lines. Okay. A unit positive test charge are placed in this line due to plus Q. What happens? The plus Q naught will experience the repulsive force. It is directed. Uh, sorry. The plus Q naught will experience the attractive force. Due to plus Q, plus Q naught will experience repulsive force due to minus q plus q naught 
uh, with experiences, the attractive form. So, plus Q0 is moving towards the minus Q, that is the direction of electric free lines. That means electric free lines are directed towards electric free lines are directed towards isolated negative point charge. Electric free lines are directed away from isolated positive point charge. Electric free lines are directed towards isolated negative point charge. And this is the first uh, characteristic, the first property of electric free line. What is that? Number one, electric free lines are directed away from isolated positive point charge. What type of electric free lines produces around isolated positive point charge? Radially diverging. Radially diverging. The electric free line, second one is the electric free lines are directed towards, towards isolated negative point charge. What type of electric free lines produces around isolated negative point charge? That is a radially converging. Radially diverging electric field lines produces around isolated positive point charge. Radially converging electric field lines produces around isolated negative point charge. Okay. The next property. Now let us consider here two equal and opposite point charges plus q and minus q these are two equal and opposite point charges so in this case electric field line actually starts from the positive point charge terminate on the negative point charge a unit positive test charge placed here, plus Q0. Due to plus Q, what happens? The plus Q0 will experience a repulsive force. The direction of electric field. It's directed away from plus Q. Here, electric field line starts, starts from plus Q and directed towards minus Q. Start from plus Q and terminate on minus Q. So suppose test charge placed here plus Q0 due to minus Q what happens that will experience this attractive force. So the electric field line starts from the positive point charge and terminate on the negative point charge. So these are electric field lines around two equal and opposite point charges. So here, these are the imaginary lines. So what is the direction of electric field along this line? So plus Q0 is placed here, due to plus Q, what happens? That will experience the repulsive force. So this is the direction of electric field. So this is the direction of electric field here. So here, plus Q0 is placed, what happens due to minus Q, plus Q0 will experience attractive force. So the electric field lines directed towards, directed towards minus Q. Okay, so this is actually the third property of electric field line. The first one is electric field lines directed away from positive point charge. Second one is electric field lines directed towards isolated negative point charge third one this is the third property of electric field line or electric lines of force so electric field line this is the third characteristic third property so electric field line start from positive point charge terminate or ends ends on negative point charge and then the next property so electric field lines never intersect with each other 
two electric field lines never intersect electric field lines never cross never cross with each other why the two electric field lines never intersect with each other suppose if they are intersect what happens suppose if two electric field lines are intersect two electric field lines are intersect at the point of intersection at the point of intersection we will have two electric fields at one particular point one point two electric fields that is impossible so that is why electric field lines never never cross with each other electric field lines never intersect electric field lines this is the fourth property what is that electric field lines never intersect electric field lines never intersect with each other electric field lines never intersect with each other even electric field lines can never be closed loops electric field lines can never be closed loops so the first properties electric field lines are directed away from positive point charge number 2 electric field lines are directed towards negative point charge number 3 so electric field line start from positive point charge terminate on negative point charge and uh, fourth one is electric field lines never intersect with each other and electric field lines never be closed loops okay the next characteristic uh, a tangent drawn a tangent drawn at any point in the electric field line uh, which gives the direction of electric field at that point so how do you find out the direction of electric intensity at a point it means uh, just we have to draw a tangent suppose this is observation point i want the direction of electric intensity here so what we have to do just draw a tangent at that point the point under observation so this is the direction of electric intensity at this point okay what is the direction of electric field uh, for example here so just draw a tangent at this point so this is the direction of electric intensity at this point okay so this is the next uh, property <coughs> of uh, electric field line what is that a tangent drawn at any point a tangent drawn at any point on the electric field line tangent drawn at any point on the electric field line which gives the direction of electric field at that point the next property is the electric field lines electric field line or closer suppose if the electric field lines are closer the electric field strength is much stronger electric field lines are closer which means the electric field strength is stronger so the electric field lines are spread out electric field lines are spread out or further apart spread out or further further apart than the electric field strength that is weaker so let us consider here three observation points a b c okay at which point electric field strength is stronger that is a very simple question so actually uh, let us consider uh, electric intensity at point a is e electric intensity at point b that is e electric intensity at point c is e okay here which one is stronger ea ea is stronger the next strong electric field is eb so ea that is 
more than e b and e b is more than e b and e c is very less why e c is very less because here electric field lines are spread out so here electric field is stronger why because here field lines are very close very close to each other that is why here electric field strength is stronger okay so this is the another property of electric field line what is that <clears throat> if the electric field lines are closer electric field lines are closer which means the electric field strength is stronger the electric field lines are spread out spread out which means the electric field strength is weaker actually this is electric field lines around uh, two equal and opposite point charges okay the next property is electric field lines around two equal like point charges electric field lines around two equal like point charges so in this case we get electric field lines like this so these are imaginary lines a unit positive test charge press q not placed here due to press q it will experience the repulsive force So these are imaginary lines. Press to not is placed here due to press to that will experience repulsive force. So these are the electric field lines around two uh, equal like point charges. Actually, here the electric field lines, electric uh, field lines exerts the lateral pressure on each other. Actually. that represents uh, the electrostatic force of repulsion between two like point charges and uh, the last property suppose if there are two equal and opposite point charges so here electric field line start from plus q and terminate on minus q so here electric field lines contract and wind so in this case electric field lines or electric field lines or contract contract length wise electric field lines or contract length wise which represents the force of attraction force of attraction between two equal and opposite point charges so here electric field lines exerts the lateral pressure on each other which represents the force of repulsion between two uh, like point charges okay the next property let us consider the positively charged sphere suppose the electrons are removed from the sphere it gets positively charged what type of electric field lines produces around the sphere that is directed away radially diverging radially diverging field lines so the direction of electric intensity that is always the direction of electric intensity that is always perpendicular to the surface to the surface of positively or negatively charged spheres direction of electric intensity that is always perpendicular to the surface of positively or negatively charged spheres and this is another property of electric field lines so actually all these three are uh, non uniform electric field okay let us consider two identical metallic sheets so one is positively charged and another one is 
negativity. So in this case, the electric field lines are tried, parallel, and equidistant. So uh, these are the electric field lines between two identical, uh, equal, and opposite metallic sheets. And this is uniform electric field. So what is the meaning of uniform electric field? Uniform electric field means the space or region in which the test charge is experiences equal force. So here, suppose the test charge is placed at plus Q0. Uh, suppose it will experience uh, a force of pi Newton. Uh, test charge is placed here. So here again, plus Q0 due to this positively charged metallic sheet. This one experiences repulsive force, that is the direction of electric field line. So the force experienced by test charge at point A, at point B, both are equal because this is a uniform electric field. Okay, these are the, some very important uh, properties of electric field line. The first one is electric field lines are directed away from isolated positive point charge. Number two, electric field lines are directed towards isolated negative point charge. Radially diverging electric field lines produces around isolated positive point charge. Radially converging electric field lines produces around isolated negative point charge. And the third one is electric field line start from positive point charge, terminate on negative point charge. So electric field lines never intersect with each other. Electric field lines can never be closed loops. Electric field lines can never be closed loops. And the tangent drawn at any point in the electric field line that gives the direction of electric field at that point. The tangent drawn at any point on the electric field line which gives the direction of electric field at that point. And electric field lines are closer, which means the electric field strength is stronger. Electric field lines are spread out further apart, which means the electric field strength is weaker. Okay, so electric field lines contract lengthwise, which represents the force of attraction between two equal and opposite point charges. Electric field lines exert lateral pressure on each other which represents the force of repulsion between two like point charges. And the direction of electric intensity that is always perpendicular to the surface of positively or negatively charged peers. And electric field lines strike parallel and equidistant in uniform electric field. Electric field lines are strike parallel and equidistant in uniform electric field. Electric field line, that is an imaginary line along which a unit positive test charge would move in the field. Okay, thank you.